Welcome, my name is Zenobia and I'm with Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center at UNC Chapel Hill. You are watching the GSK Science in the Summer Chemistry is Everywhere series. In these activities, we will show you how you can use common everyday household materials to show you that everything you do is connected to science. But before we start, let's make sure we have all of our materials. You will need diapers, two different brands, some cups, scissors, a spoon, some water, and a plate or container of some sort. Now take a look at the items on my table. We have a ball, a plastic bag, this empty cup, we have some toys, and also some slime. Any idea what all of these things have in common? All of these things are made of polymers. Poly means many, mer means parts. And that's because polymers are these long strands of molecules all strung together, kind of like a beaded necklace like this. These tiny molecule chains are, can be used in all sorts of shapes, which is why we use them for many different things, from plastic and toys, to rubber and balls. Even our hair is a type of polymer. Did you know that there are polymers also in diapers? And these are called diaper polymers. So today we're going to do an experiment to look at diaper polymers. So think about why you wore diapers as a baby. What did they do? Diapers absorb all the liquids that a baby makes and turns them into a gel so the baby stay dry. So we're gonna do an experiment to see, with two different diapers to see which one holds the most liquid. So let's start with some observations. Let's take our two diapers and let's make some observations about them. Do they smell any different? Do they look any different? Is one softer than the other? Now let's see if we can make a prediction about which diaper will hold more water. So we're gonna start with diaper A. So in order to get the polymer, we're gonna to need to cut open the diaper to get it out. So first we need to open up the diaper and right where these two tabs are, we're gonna cut right across the top. So grab your scissors and follow along with me. We're gonna cut right at the top of this diaper, all the way through, just like that. Now, there are a few layers of these diapers, and so we need to make sure we get the one with the polymer. If you pull it apart, there's a layer of cotton padding that looks something like this, but that's not the layer we want. We wanna go one more layer deeper. If I go deeper, I will see all of these little crystals, and that's the polymer. So now that we find the polymer, where it's time to scrape it out. Now there's a lot of layers in a diaper, so it may take you a few minutes to find the right one. So just keep looking. So this is where we're gonna need our plate, and we're just gonna open this diaper all the way up. So now let's take our spoon and start to scrape some of those polymers off the diaper and into our plate. This may take you a few minutes, so just keep going. It may be helpful to use your thumbs to kind of gently rub the bottom of the diaper to get some of these polymers to come out. They're kind of sticky. So when you've got some polymers in your plate, I'm gonna take a quarter of a teaspoon, but you can take any spoon you have and get a small amount of the polymer and put it into a cup. So now we're gonna see how much water diaper A can hold. So taking a spoon, we're gonna add one spoonful of water into our cup at a time. 
but remember to count how many spoonfuls we add because that'll be important at the end. When you add the water, give it the polymer just a second to see what it does. What's happening? The polymer is absorbing all of the water in the bottom of the cup. Isn't that cool? So now we're gonna keep adding one cup of, one spoon of water at a time into our cup. Between each spoonful, make sure you give the polymer just a few seconds to absorb the water. We're gonna be able to tell that the polymer is done absorbing the water when it starts to get runny. And you can tell that's happening if you start to tilt your cup if you see water start to pull on the side of the cup. So this one, not quite yet. So let's keep going. Three. Four. All right, it looks like this one is done absorbing water. So diaper A held four spoonfuls of water. So we're gonna do the same thing with diaper B. So follow along with me. My plate fell. Again, open the diaper and right at these tabs, we're gonna cut across the top. And again, we're gonna open these layers to find the layer with the polymer. Now, it's important to remember that different brands of diapers are made a little bit differently, so the inside is not always gonna look the same. On this diaper, the polymers are a little bit smaller and a lot harder to see, but if I just scrape this layer, I can still get some on my plate. And you try, want to try not to get any, money, any of this stuffing, this cotton stuff, into it. You just want the polymers at the bottom. All right, once I got a little bit of that, I'm going to take my quarter teaspoon and again, just get a little bit of this diaper polymer and put it into my cup. That's kind of hard to get out of the bowl. All right, now it's time to add the water. Remember to add one spoonful at a time and make sure you keep track of how many spoonfuls we added. One. Give the polymer just a few seconds to absorb the water that you poured inside. Oh, it looks like this one's already running. As we can see, if we tilt the cup, you can see the water going up the side. So this diaper only held one, one spoonful of water. So if we remember, diaper A held four spoonfuls of water and diaper B only held one spoonful of water. So, which diaper held more water? For me, it was A. So I bet you're wondering, how does that happen? What's happening here? In the bottom of diapers, there is a polymer called sodium polyacrylate, and it's often called a diaper polymer. This polymer absorbs all the urine or pee that a baby makes, and it turns into a gel at the bottom of the diaper. That way, the baby doesn't stay wet. So let's review what we've learned today. Polymers are these long strains of molecules all strung together like a beaded necklace. And they can be used in all shapes. So we use them for lots of different things around us, like this table, your chair at school, your shoes, your toys, and even diapers. If you wanna learn more about polymers, try our leak-proof bag activities for some cool science. 
Again, my name is Zenovia, and thank you for joining us at GSK Science in the Summer Chemistry is Everywhere series. I hope you've had fun learning about polymers, and we hope to see you next time. Stay curious.